A new AAA mobile gacha game is coming onto the scenes on July 15th, 2021. Based on the successful series My Hero Academia, My Hero Academia Ultra Impact is Bandai's newest project. The game is clean and simple, a 3v3 battle RPG game with beloved characters from the series in both amazing 3D chibi style graphics and pristine 2D animations. This game has the formula and promise to be another one of Bandai's long-living mobile games. My name is Jay Fanta, and today I'll be giving you a nice overview of all the information you need to know when starting this game. Please note that all this info was from the closed beta testing, so things might change when the final product is released. And also, the release will only be in Japan app stores, and no English release has been confirmed at this date. But if the reception to this game is positive and popularity is high enough, there will be a good chance that an English one will come very soon. Shoutouts to Hydros Impact for letting me use his footage in this video, as he was the only person I knew of who actually contributed to the closed beta. I'll leave his channel link in the description if you want to see more gameplay on this game and more in-depth analysis as this video is for basic knowledge. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as I'll have more Ultra Impact content coming your way when the game is fully released. Timestamps are also provided in this video for those that want to skip to certain parts. But without further ado, let's get started. First off, let me quickly explain how to download this game when this is out. If you're on iOS, you'll need to create a Japanese iTunes account. A quick YouTube tutorial should get you on the road, and then you can pre-register for the game right now on the App Store. For Android users, go to apps.q-app.com forward slash en on your phone's browser. QApp is a third-party marketplace that allows you to skip the hassle of creating an account in a different country. Download their app, install onto your phone, and from there, go to the QApp app, and once MHA Ultra Impact is released, you can download it. Unfortunately, you won't be able to pre-register unlike the iOS version, so make sure you mark July 15th on your calendar so you can download it as soon as possible. Same directions go if you are using an emulator. Okay, so now let's talk about the summons, one of the most important parts of a gacha game. The premium currency used to summon is the Rainbow Gems called Hero Gems. It costs 50 gems for a single summon, and 500 for a multi-summon, which will provide you with 10 summons. When summoning, you will have a chance to pull from 3 rarities, Rare, SR, and Yuwa. Yuwa being the best cards at a 3% pull rate. And from those, you can pull either characters or equipments, otherwise known as memories. You can get unlimited amounts of the same memories, but once you pull a duplicate of a playable character, they will be converted into hero coins, which is used in the in-game currency shop. In the currency shop, you can use those hero coins to purchase shards, but as of now in the beta testing, it is unknown for what the shards are used for. It is speculated that they are used for some sort of an awakening for later updates. For each playable character, they will have an HP, attack, and speed stat, two unique action skills, an auto skill, pretty much a passive, and a plus ultra ability, which is their strongest move, and an upgrade tree to improve certain elements of the character, whether that's stats or skills and whatnot. And to state the obvious, training them will make them stronger and more viable for the later content. When team building, each character on the team can be assigned with one memory. Memories can be also leveled up and even limit broken by feeding duplicates into each other, making them more effective. Memories will have their own passive as well as stat increases for the equipped character, which is why I recommend you keeping all of your memories, max awaken them, and then sell off the unnecessary ones as they do sell for some valuable materials that are used to purchase things in the in-game currency shop, such as training items. Now that you have your team ready for battle, it's time to understand the combat system. It's very simple to understand. It's a 3v3 turn-based style gameplay where attack timing is based on character speed. During the decision phase, you can choose to use a character's action skill or just go for a normal attack. There is a special mechanic called a chain attack where you can link multiple action skills together which has speed priority, meaning you will always go first with your chain attack. And by timing your taps within the chain attack, you can make the most of everyone's action skills within the chain. Note that speed will be a factor for everything else though. As the battle continues and you consume your action skills and chain attacks, your character's plus ultra meter rises. Once full, you can unleash your character's plus ultra skill. Each character has their own bar, so you can potentially use three at the same time if you need to. 
When team building, you can bring two subunits. These subunits will replace any fainted characters, meaning you have five characters in your disposal to complete the quest. Like every other mobile game, do keep in mind that depending on a character's typing, it may be effective in doing extra damage and tanking, or be weak to the opponent. And finally, the friend system. The only purpose of bringing a friend to aid you in battle is the use of the extra plus ultra ability. There is no leader skills to take advantage of, which can be looked as a positive so you can use all your favorite characters in one team. If you want to help others by providing them a friend, Ultra Impact's friend system is quite great, allowing you to set six different units for others to use, one of each typing and an all selection. The last thing I want to touch up on for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact is the base building feature. It's a mode that allows you to get certain items for just waiting. As far as the beta goes, there was no way of increasing the rewards, but only customization options such as different furniture and different characters that you can put in. Not too complex. And well, that's all I have for you guys today. I really can't wait till this game is fully released. You can expect videos left, right and center on this game. So until then, I'll settle for watching season 5 to fill my MHA needs. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Check out all the links in the description. And until the next video, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.